Welcome to the desert of the real. Meaning that they're endorsing that the 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 
um, white folks and black folks mix together so that we can both basically mix both of us out of existence and create a brown nation. Talking about the colors. That's like the colors over in South Africa. Yeah. And... <laughs> I mean... And, and, my thing is, I always advocating that. Yeah, and my thing is, well, okay, let's say that I, I I I buy that concept. What is going to be the consciousness of this brown person? Is it going to be an African centered consciousness, or is it going to be a Eurocentric consciousness? I think we both know the answer to that. Right, we know what it's going to be. <laughs> we are. We but are. I just know what I just wanted be. to say this, and I know that I can say this on your show because you're raw. I, I, I'm going to do a video on this, but I wanted to give a sneak preview on your show. Okay. These same people mentality, what they say, and I've heard, I've actually heard them say this to me on the on the YouTube that instead of us trying to develop this nation, what we should do is adapt to to the current circumstances. This is oh what they said, god. right? Oh my god! I got news for you. Those are the same guys who usually end up getting fucked when they go to jail. Wow. Because wow. Then, when you're in jail, you're going to adapt to the cir- current circumstances or you're going to be a man. Wow. So when I ever I hear a brother talking about that, adapting to the current circumstances, I know he got some sugar in his tank. I mean. Because I'm not adapting to know that what you're going to adapt to. Some man wants you to be his girlfriend. You're going to adapt to that? I mean, what would make a person say that? I mean, Somebody what, see, I who obviously know what they mean by that? I, you know, I like to, I like to ask them specifically. What do you mean by adapting to the circumstance? What, what are you talking about? What it means you, lay down you, your, lay down your sword, your cultural sword. Lay it down and just merge into invisibility with the white dominant structure. That's what it means. That ain't gonna happen. That can't happen. I'm going to tell you why that ain't going to happen. Because white folks ain't going to let that happen. That ain't going to happen. That's not going to happen. And we ain't going to let it happen. this is the type of happen. black men. These are the type of black men that we taking our orders from, our talking points from. Come on. I don't know who they are. I mean, I ain't never heard of them. <laughs> I, I, ain't ne- I ain't never. So I know they don't. I, I lend no credence to that shit. Because <laughs> I don't know who in the hell they are. You know, who would, who would want to disavow who they are? But I think what it is is it's because people don't know who they are. That's right. That's the problem. Yeah. We have to, the the African has to identify with the continent no matter where they are on this planet so that we can be a global people. It's not just the African in America. The African on the continent has to do the same thing. Because, right. like, contrary to popular belief, it ain't like the white man just came in was able to bow guard because he's almighty and all powerful. There was no communication. But you know what though? When we look at the continent of Africa and the discord, because there's a lot of discord, a lot of fucking infighting going on over there. You know, and a particularly, you know, we talk about all the resources. You know, we got all the resources over there in Africa, but we have, we don't. Black people, the Africans, don't control those resources. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? And so the question is, why do they not control the resources? And I'm going to say, for me, I think the reason is is because you got some African human beings making decisions that only benefit themselves and not their people. Right. And they they don't see each other. They don't look at the continent as a whole. They don't look at each other as a, a one global people. It's like if you're from Nigeria, you're a Nigerian. Right, right. You know, we right. have got to stop that nonsense. We got to stop it. And I think and that's if we don't stop it, if we don't stop it, then we really shouldn't complain about the European running things because apparently that's what we want them to do. Right. I think that's what Marcus Garvey was talking about. I think that's what Kwame Nkrumah, yep. who influenced by the by us in the U.S. Right. About the unification of African people. Right. See, as a one, as recognizing themselves as one people. You a know what I'm paradigm. saying? New paradigm. New right. paradigm. Right. That's and, what I'm proposing. And, you know, and it's kind of like here in America, even though we may have our different religions, you know what I'm saying, our different belief systems, we should all know that we have a common enemy. We right. have one 
group of people whose main business is to manipulate and and cash in on us, this human resource that they brought over here, even though some people say we were already here when the European came, and that's sad too, because you was already here and they came and enslaved your ass. I think that's real sad. You know, but even before like, but even before we can acknowledge a common enemy, we gotta first acknowledge a common people. Right. Right, 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 and and okay, so, so, and knowing all that, brother holisticism, as you look in your lens, and you look down that pike, you know, and you weigh the current mentality that you see that you see today. I mean, I I hate to appear hopeless, okay. That the the whole idea of unity, the whole idea of unity, mm-hmm. it seems so illusionary at this point. Right. You know, even even though I know it's a concept that it's it's a must for us as a people. I, I secondarily, I don't think that they can eradicate black people off the planet. I don't believe that. You know. I don't believe you can get rid of the original. You I mean just, you mean genetically? I mean genetically, physically. I just don't believe that. You know, I don't believe. Well, genetically I, and physically, I don't think they'll be able to. As a matter of fact, they can't. But right, they can do right. something. There is one thing that they can accomplish. They can't eradicate African consciousness off the face of the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, that's what my problem is. 